Um, I saw your ad in here. I uh, need to increase business advertise with Liberty News and views. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, um, I appreciate, I picked this paper up, and um, I appreciate getting a price on advertising my business through your paper. Sure. Uh, do you have an email uh, address? Yeah, I do. Okay, here's what you just send me an email to Liberty News. Okay. No space between... At between yeah, no space between Liberty and News. Uh huh. At AOL.com. AOL dot com. Oh, at AOL. What of, what, what, yeah, at AOL dot com. What type of business do you have? A peace flag business, and I'm a peace activist. So, yeah, okay. and I'm also a nine eleven truther as well. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate you saying that, sir, because not too many people support the nine eleven truthers. I mean, what do you think about nine eleven? Well, you know, the thing about it is, is that most of us do not know enough about Islam to oh. really understand why any of that happened. Oh well, you know, I mean, I went and did my own investigative uh, work. My grandmother lived in Manhattan, New York, her whole life, and my father was a steel. My father was a steel worker. His uncle, his father was a steel worker. My uncles were steel workers. J and L Steel, to be specific. Um, and then also, you probably know our family story here in corrupt Cleveland too, and that would be the Cleveland abduction story. My cousin Nancy, with her daughter Gina De Jesus, who was chained to Ariel Castro's wall for ten years. Right. Um, yeah, that's our family story, and and to tell you the truth, local politics had Ariel Castro's license plate number within 48 hours of Gina's abduction, so she was chained to that wall unnecessarily for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, so wow. a little bit of activism work helped to pay off in 2012, a year later, 2013, so... Yeah, thanks to my activist newspaper, but I saw your paper tonight and I picked it up as I was getting myself a pizza, um, but I wanted to uh, see how much you would charge me for an advertisement for my, my business. Well, it's, it depends on the size of the ad, obviously. You know, it's a monthly newspaper. It's mailed. Okay. And we, right now, our, our distribution, for the next three months, will be right around 12000 Mm -hmm. uh, but to, 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 during the summertime, it goes up to about 14500 Gotcha. I go to the, Be the Bedford School District, primarily Bedford, Bedford Heights, Oakwood, Walton Hills, and I go to Olive Glen Willow, mm -hmm. and, and about a third of Solon. Right. So, I'm sorry, sir, and are you the editor of the paper? I, I am the owner-editor. Oh, you're the owner I, I, I started the newspaper in 1984. Oh, nice. Okay. And, uh, and I'm a Vietnam veteran. Okay. You know, and I and I believe in this country, and I believe people should know what's going on. Oh, I believe that too. So, so that's that's what that's what makes me that's what makes me uh, a nine eleven truth activist as well. Because I mean, I'm friends with people that have been studying the events of nine eleven uh, since since it happened, and I mean, they know a lot more than I do. You know, um, but I re I respect those that have gone before me. So, um, and there's no disputing uh, scientific facts of uh what it takes to melt steel and uh and to bring down towers in a complete circum circumference you know just complete co collapse like that no way no right. way can 110 floors fold up into a nice neat tidy package uh in less than 12 seconds you know what i'm saying the north tower and the south tower and then they don't even discuss wtc7 in the um in the book um, that they pretended to do the investigation about 9/11, so they don't e they don't even mention it. Our government didn't even mention WTC7 at all, and no and no. no w, I, what is WTP7? WT WT7 WTC7 World World Trade Center Building Number Seven. It went down at 5:20 p.m. And right. no plane ever hit the building. It went down in its own footprint. Um, so you might want to check out a website. It's called ae911truth.org. It's a bunch of engineers. Uh, Richard Gates. Yeah, send me, send me, send, you know, when you send me an email, uh -huh. I'll send you back the prices for advertising. Okay. You, you know, send me, you know, whatever, whatever you think you have. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and I'll be able to take a look at that. But, you know, I, I mean, I know that, you know, you're listening to the engineers uh -huh. that designed the building. I mean, they, they yeah. had... You know, design that building in a way that uh, 
the, the, the feel that it would come down. So I, I don't know, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, it should have never came down um, because it, Rockefeller designed it purposely that way so it wouldn't come down. But, you know, nobody's talking about Marvin Bush and how he sold that terrorist insurance policy on July 24, 2001 to Larry Silverstein. So Rockefeller scooted out of the way. And, you know, the Rothschilds and the Rockefeller have been, uh, those oil men and banking men here from corrupt Cleveland, Ohio, they've been very busy hoodwinking us all. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh huh. Well, yeah. So we. There's, there's certainly nothing new. I mean, we've been hoodwinked, you know, for years. For you know, not just by them, but by you know, a whole lot of other people. So. Well, that's true. And I mean, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but I mean, you know, unfortunately for JFK, who got assassinated in Texas of all states, you know, uh, Bush Senior did his CIA report. So I don't know if you know that, but he signed off on that report. So, and nobody could account for Bush Sr. that day as well when JFK was assassinated. So, we got a lot of treason going on and tyranny in America. I see your little story here saying that. Um, and it's so true, you know. I mean, I mean, God, Dick Cheney, too. I mean, how he started Halliburton. And uh, and then as a result of Halliburton, uh, what come out of that is Panera Bread, you know. So, we should talk about all this stuff. We should, we should actually we should follow the dough all the way up straight up to Wall Street, corrupt Wall Street, you know. But um, I'm going to read your newspaper here. It's got a lot of information in it, um, and go from here. But I'd like to put an ad in your paper about um, our. Uh, where, 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 yeah, where do you live? I live well. I live in Maple Heights, but yeah, oh, okay. yeah, I live in Maple Heights. I just relocated from corrupt Arizona. Uh, to Maple Heights because I was being followed for two years after the girls were found. So they made sure they followed us around, uh, you know, those bad boys who really did 9-11. So, uh, and shame on them for blaming other people, you know. The Christian thing to do would be to tell the truth, you know what I mean? Tell the truth, that would be the Christian thing to do about the all the facts of 9-11 because we're all being misled like sheep being led to slaughter, you know. So the truth is what set Gina free. I know that for sure. Um, you know, but uh, I don't know what to say. I just got to keep praying and asking God to show me. Because I'm, I'm like, uh, God, I don't know what her name is. The girl who was blind. Uh, I forgot Helen what Helen Keller. Helen Keller. Helen there Keller. you go. I feel like I feel like Helen Keller because I don't know what to do from one day to the next. But, but I know God's guiding me. Um, so I just got to, you know... Follow that intuitive guidance. That's all I can say. Now, you know, are, are you are you saying that that the the, the the two twin towers weren't hit by airplanes? Oh no, I'm not saying that at all, sir. But what I am saying is, see, I actually have studied 9/11 so well that I've met up with people that had people inside those towers that you know, first responders that lost their family members. Um, right. So, and I've studied it long enough to know that. You know, fire from jet fuel did not bring down our towers, our World Trade Center complex. So that is for sure. And there was a company called Ace Elevator that was working on the towers for a year before 9/11. You know, um, and, and we and they were working on the core columns of of the World Trade Center complex. So. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, the way I see it is we're all going to w 